Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Marina. Welcome. I post two beauty related videos every single week. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming part of my little YouTube family. Um, I'll leave my Instagrams up here. I'd love if you could give me a follow on those as well. Um, so today I really wanted to do a green look. I've got this new little dress from Boohoo. All the greens. So I thought I'd do a nice green look for you guys. Um, yes, really cute. I really hope that you enjoy. I am going to do a voiceover because Taylor Swift dropped an album last night randomly and I'm like her biggest fan ever so I've been listening to it like on repeat so if you see my mouth moving that is me singing along to Tay Tay so I had to listen to Tay Tay so sorry you're getting voice over Marina today uh, so yes without further ado if you want to see how I achieved a this look Please keep on watching. Don't forget to smash me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't know what that voice was. You know, someone actually thought I was Scottish the other day at work because I do accents all the time. She's like, are you Scottish? But she comes in all the time. I was like, no, I can't control myself. Okay, let's go. Mwah. We are starting off with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in shade two so you only need a small amount of this and just pat this onto the eyelid until it turns matte and we're going to use the huda beauty mercury in retrograde eyeshadow palette and using this mint green shade called haze and a spectrum fluffy eyeshadow brush i am just going to pop this all in my crease i'm taking it quite far up because i have got quite hooded lids and I don't have a lot of space and um, this is one of the lighter greens that I'm using which is why I'm taking it up so high. So next from the Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro palette I'm taking this limey green shade. I think it was called The Hype, I can't really remember but it was on the screen there. Everything will be linked down below. I'm popping this in the crease on a smaller brush. Um, just taking it lower than that haze colour but I am just building up the haze colour making sure the pigment is still there and then i'm taking the darker green from the stacy palette and again popping this on the crease a little bit on the lid but taking it a lot lower because i still want you to be able to see the other other colors that we used so just build this up until you are happy with the intensity i'm adding a little bit more of the more lime green just to make sure that you can really see it and then I'm taking a little bit of the black from the Stacey Marie palette and this is just going to help to deepen up the look and add a little bit of dimension. So I'm focusing this on the very, very outer corner of the eyelid and slightly up through the crease, not taking it more than halfway through and just making sure to blend this out just with the other green shades so there is no harsh lines. Next I'm taking my Nosh MUA Nicole brush, this is amazing for cutting the crease and the P. Louise coloured base in Hint of Mint and I'm using this just to cut the crease a little bit, um, really really love this combination, the P. Louise coloured bases are amazing and the Nosh MUA brush is just so good, my needs are clean though so it wasn't as crisp as usual. Um, the leftover, I am just popping this on my waterline, which I've never used before. But I actually really, really like the effects. And then I'm just taking a little bit of the black and blending that onto the mint colour just to make sure that there is no harsh line. And everything is going to blend seamlessly. Back into the Huda palette, I am going to take this absolutely gorgeous sparkly green shade. Um, first of all, using a brush just to kind of get the colour on, but I wasn't getting the effect that I wanted. So I am just going to pop a little bit of that on my finger and then just press that on. And as you can see, it comes off a lot more foiled when using the finger. Next, I'm using this Sugar Pill Pigment in the shade Lumi. 
It's a really nice kind of white to greeny duochrome. Absolutely love this. Um, popping this just on the inner corner and slightly on the first part of the lid, but it's such a cute colour. Then I'm using the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eyeliner just to line the eyelids. I'm just doing one line, I'm not winging or anything, and then popping a little bit of mascara on just to make the lashes nice and black and give a little bit of thickness. Then let's move on to the face. I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And for once, I am just using a beauty sponge just to blend this into my skin. I rarely use a sponge, but because this is quite a thick foundation, um, I thought I would just use a sponge with it. But this is a really nice full coverage foundation. And then I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. I'm going to use this to carve around my eyebrows. Again, using the Nosh MUA Spankers brush. I have done a full review on them, which will be linked down below. And then just popping this under my eyes and down the centre of my face just to bring a little bit of light. And make sure we are continuing with that full coverage base. Which is the look I'm going for. So I'm using the NYX contour palette and I'm going to use the banana shade and the shimmery shade just to set on my under eyes and then I'll be using a little bit of the Coty Air Spun Powder and just pressing that underneath the eyes and a little bit on the face as well just to make sure it's really set in place and then I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder in the shade Medium Olive just to further set the face and I'll be using this contour shade from the NYX palette as well as again all the brushes are going to be Nosh such a good brush line you really need to check it out but yeah just contour in the face then I'm taking the Too Faced Peach Blush Palette but before that I'm just using this Revolution Powder in Opalescent it's just going to give a quick glow to the skin and then bronzing using this bronzer and also a little bit of the bronzer from that Too Faced Palette I'm just mixing them together just to give more of a glow and then I'm using the Peach Blush which smells so nice and just popping that on the cheeks just to add some brightness and I'll be taking the highlighter from that palette as well um, just to kind of stay with the theme I don't think I've used this much on my channel so I thought I'd do it again this is a really nice kind of white icy highlighter but it is really really pretty so pretty and I'm just using that blush brush to blend it all together and using the L'Oreal Shake and Glow to set the face and then I'm just using that mint green just to go underneath my lower lash line just to tie everything together and then a little bit of that white shimmery shade just in there. So this is the finished so look. I really hope that lashes, you guys enjoy and I hope that you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs so up. It would really, really help me out. If you haven't subscribed already, watching. make sure you I'm do so. so and I will see you guys next time. Thank you Bye. so, so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.